everybody and welcome to my channel for Hoop Skirts vs Petticoats Part 3. Um, honestly, I hadn't planned on making a third, but hey, we all like trilogies. And while sequels aren't necessarily as great as the first, uh, this one's for you, Bushra Eza. This video will expand a little more on the aesthetics of Part 2. And with summer around the corner for some of us, I figured this would be an awesome timing if you're thinking of ordering one. For this video, I'll be focusing more on how hoop skirts look like under different dresses of different materials, and thus different material weight. I've also listed the main fabric materials of each of the dresses, so you can compare these dresses to yours of a similar fabric. Something I forgot to add to my previous video uh, was a direct comparison of a petticoat and hoop skirt being worn by itself. So here it is. Depending on the dresses you have, a hoop skirt may or may not suit what you're looking for. As there are a few more things worth mentioning that I found out trying out a hoop skirt with my other dresses. The main thing about hoop skirts is that the shape may not exactly fall into that perfect bell shape or A-line, and may be in that kind of middle zone. In addition, dresses that are designed for less poofiness may look slightly off in comparison to using petticoats. Here is an example. This is a pretty old, more traditional style of leader dress, and it's not meant to have such poof so I can't help but feel the hoop skirt shape looks slightly off with it. Be wary that hoop skirts may give some dresses an overstuffed look if the dress is not suited for the hoop skirt shape. Some hoop skirts are adjustable, so you may be able to adjust for this, but I figured this was a useful detail to note when ordering one. In contrast, I find ruffles can let you get away with the shape of the hoop skirt being slightly off in comparison to just a plain dress. Here are a few more videos of me comparing a hoop skirt First petticoat being worn. While the black dress had some problems by looking overstuffed, I believe when a hoop skirt provides a complementary shape to the dress you have, it can be less obvious if a petticoat or hoop skirt is being worn. In addition, I think personally that the weight of the fabric itself doesn't make it much of a difference whether you're wearing a hoop skirt or a petticoat. If anything, the hoop skirt in my opinion are just better for keeping up the heavier dresses because one petticoat usually just gets majorly compressed. As mentioned in part 2, if you want to mask the rigidity of the hoop skirt, you can always add a petticoat over the top. Just make sure you don't overstuff it. In conclusion, I think both hoop skirts and petticoats are both useful in the leader fashion. But if you just want to enjoy a leader in the summer, a hoop skirt, regardless of aesthetics, is the way to go for keeping you cool. I hope that makes it all the more easier in making sure if the petticoat and or hoop skirt is right for you. If you have any more questions about hoop skirts, Leave them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so I know you want more videos. Ta-ta for now and see you next time!